name is Ashley Moore, and I currently attend Pennsylvania State University. Um, I'm studying to maybe go into corporate law or maybe do news media. I don't know which one yet. Anyway, um, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> My vlogs will focus mainly on politics and international relations. I'm more of a... I like business, and I like politics, and I like to fuse the, the two in. You know, maybe I should consider becoming the next Colonies of Rice, because that's exactly what she did. Anyway, um, so, um, but mainly this blog will focus on Barack Obama's first 100 days in office. I mean, you know, as we all know, he's taking office January 20th, and though I did not vote, I would have voted for Barack Obama if I didn't, you know, register. But anyway, um... There's a lot of pressure on him to, 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 to do good and to, 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 to just to, you know, make good with all his promises during his campaign. I mean, as you all know, we're in a huge recession right now. And, you know, we're having issues with the economy and the international economy. So this blog will focus on all this. I mean, when he gets into office, it's going to be more about, it's going to be more heavy, heavier than, you know, figuring out which dog is going to be the first dog, you know, that's big now, but besides the dogs, <laughs> he has a lot to worry about, and um, I'm not here to critique him, or to, 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 you know, to do, be like the other news media, like Ann Coulter, who's a bitch, anyway, um, I'm here to, to give my opinion on Barack Obama as a student and as, um, you know, the, the future of America because, you know, what our, the past generation does for the future generation and the present generation counts. And, you know, I don't know about most people, but when I get ready to join the workforce, I kind of want a job. So, um... This will focus on all of it, you know, what's going on here in America. And it doesn't even have to focus on Barack Obama. It can focus on other things that's going on, like the Ponzi scandal that's going on here now in, um, in uh, America. And also the international things like the Gaza, the, situ the, situation, the situation in Iraq or the, the issues, you know, even past that this will this blog will focus on everything so i hope you will um i hope you enjoy and if you disagree you can disagree with me all you want this channel is supposed to have disagree please but please 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 let's keep it about the politics and about the issues not about my personal appearance because i know i look jacked right now but anyway um also i would like to end this segment by doing my monthly book well, you know, this probably would take more than a month. Um, I don't know if I told you these guys yet, but um, I'm a very, very, very big fan of the presidents. I can name all 44, and I can name their vice presidents and their secretaries of state. I know that's kind of weird, but um, I have sort of an addiction. Anyway, right now, I'm reading about our great 16th president, who is Lincoln, and the book is called um, Team of Rivals, The Political Genius of Abraham Lincoln, and it's by Doris King Goodwin. It's a really, really, really great read. Um, it focuses on how Lincoln became president and how, you know, he had these three other rivals who were running for the same position, the same Republican ticket, um, Bates, Stewart, and Chase, Solomon Chase, so if you ever, if you like learning about Lincoln, you like reading about Lincoln, this is a really great read because it, it shows you, it, it gives you the motions and it, it, I found out some really great stuff about Lincoln. Like I, it took me to go into college to, to find out that Lincoln, you know, his initial, his initial stance on slavery was to contain slavery. He really didn't want to free the slaves. He wanted to contain slavery. So that's a very, very, very good, um, Good insight because I always thought that he his initial goal was to set out to free the slaves and that wasn't his initial goal. His initial goal was to preserve the union and contain slavery. So Doris King Goodwin she 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 points out certain things about Lincoln's life that you otherwise wouldn't really have known if you haven't picked up the book. So that's my read for um now. Uh I hope you enjoy. Peace out on me. <laughs> well, damn it, I shouldn't have done that. And... Um,